If you still were not convinced that the Republican Party is a fascist organization, well, I've got some more evidence for you. As Paul Blumenthal and Nicholas Johnson of HuffPost reports, Republican House candidate Carl Palladino praised Nazi leader Adolf Hitler's ability to rouse the crowds and declared Hitler the kind of leader we need today in a February 2021 interview on the radio station WBEN in Buffalo, New York. Hmm. Interesting. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Well, this has got to be some fringe GOP candidate. Actually, no. He's been endorsed as of June 3rd by the third highest ranking Republican in the House of Representatives, Elise Stefanik. And she enthusiastically endorsed him, tweeting out, I am proud to announce my endorsement of my friend Carl Palladino in New York 23. Carl is a job creator and conservative outsider who will be a tireless fighter for the people of New York in our fight to put America first to save the country. And he also thinks that Hitler is the kind of leader that we need today. This is who she endorsed. Now, let's be charitable to her here and assume that she had no idea that he said this in 2021. Okay, fair. I'll assume that that's the case. Well, in 2016, he was removed from the Buffalo School Board for saying something so racist that they refused to tolerate him. HuffPost explains this isn't Palladino's first brush with controversy. In 2016, he said in an interview that he would like to see President Barack Obama die from mad cow disease and First Lady Michelle Obama return to being a male and let loose in the outback of Zimbabwe, where she lives comfortably in a cave with Maxi the gorilla. Those comments led to Palladino being removed moved from the Buffalo School Board. That's who Elise Stefanik, a GOP leader, decided to endorse. So perhaps she didn't know about what he said in 2021, because these comments are only resurfacing right now. But did you not vet him and hear what he said previously? It was kind of a big deal since he lost his position at the Buffalo School Board because of how racist he was. So look, she still endorsed him, Despite that racism, don't really think that that's a flaw. I think she probably sees that as a feature to be less charitable here, now that we know more. Uh, but is she going to correct this wrong and unendorse him and unequivocally condemn his comments about Hitler? Well, of course not. When presented with Palladino's statement that Hitler is the kind of leader we need today, Stefanik claimed it was taken out of context. I condemn any statement, but don't take it out of context, Stefanik told HuffPost. That is not accurate reporting. Oh, okay, so that makes sense. He didn't actually praise Hitler. He was taken out of context. We'll get to the context here in a second, but let's get to his statement because he's agreeing that yes, he was taken out of context and he would never praise Hitler. Quote, any implication that I support Hitler or any of the sick and disgusting actions of the Nazi regime is a new low for the media, he said. The context of my statement was in regards to something I heard on the radio from someone else and was repeating, I understand that invoking Hitler in any context is a serious mistake and rightfully upsets people. I strongly condemn the murderous atrocities committed against the Jewish people by Hitler and the Nazis. Okay, good to hear, I guess. But um, both he and Stefanik, they further try to prove how anti-Holocaust he is by pointing to a quote that he made more than 10 years ago where he supposedly condemned the Holocaust. Now, he does condemn the Holocaust in that quote, to be fair, to be a little bit more unfair. The context with which he was condemning the Holocaust back then was him comparing gay marriages to the Holocaust. Gay marriages are bad. They're as bad as the Holocaust. You're equating civil rights for gay people to the mass execution of millions and millions of Jewish people. And also queer people were executed during the Holocaust as well, by the way. But that's their evidence that he's anti-Holocaust and doesn't approve of Hitler. A little bit of a yikes, if you ask me. Now, look, the article, they quoted him, right? And him and Stefanik, they're claiming he was taken out of context. So I tried to be fair and I sought out the actual context. And I found a snippet of the interview, and I've got to say, the articles really don't do it justice because when you have the full context, it is so much worse, so much worse. The article doesn't even begin to describe how horrible these comments are because after he says Hitler is the kind of leader that we need, he goes on to explain why we need a leader like Hitler. Listen, we've been talking a lot about politics here today, this morning, Carl, and I know uh, that that's obviously near and dear to your heart. And you've and you've, ta you've taken 
you've taken real action. And a lot, like you were saying earlier, many people uh, don't voice their opinion or, or just become, see it as, as utter futility. How do, how do you rouse the population? How do you get people thinking about the possibility of, of, of change here in New York State and, and what that might mean for, for, our, for everyone here? I was thinking the other day about uh, somebody had mentioned on the radio uh, Adolf Hitler and, and, and how he aroused the crowds. I mean, he'd get up there screaming these epithets, and, and, and these people were just, they, they were hypnotized by him. Uh, that's, I, guess, I guess that's the kind of uh, uh, leader we need today. We need somebody inspirational. We need somebody that, that, that is a doer, has been there and done it. So it's not a strange new world to them. I look around at, at the politicians that we've elected locally, and I, I just can't get comfortable with, uh, on a federal level, I can't get comfortable with, with the, the rhinoism. And on a, on, on a state level, we our Republicans are sound asleep. They, they, they're not, not an anti-government uh, group. They don't get up with new, you know, uh, uh, press releases to comment on this issue, comment on that issue. I mean, there should be a debate going on in the newspaper every day about, uh, but but you can count on the editorial page at the Buffalo News, okay, taking one side on an issue, and that's that's all it is. It's uh, uh, they, letters of the editor. If they, if they don't like what you're writing, they don't they don't print it, and that's that's true, and it's sad. That's that's what this newspaper has become. They're not. They're an opinion piece. They're they're not a factual uh, 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 truth sayer. He heard someone on the radio talking about how Hitler was screaming epithets and how that roused the crowds. And I guess that's the kind of leader we need today. Somebody inspirational. Somebody who's a doer. Now, sure, you can argue that Hitler was inspirational in the sense that he inspired people to commit mass atrocities. You can claim that he's a doer because he certainly was effective. He got things done, the things being done being mass death. But he's saying, you know, we need someone who's that kind of a leader. The context does not help you at all. It only makes things much, much worse. And he goes on to explain how he's sick and tired of rhinos. These rhinos are bad. We need a real leader, somebody who inspires people, somebody who's a doer, someone like Adolf Hitler. This is a Republican who was endorsed by a member of GOP leadership. How many times are they going to accidentally say something that seems a little bit sus and then claim they were taken out, taken out of context before people actually... Take these fascists seriously. Take them at their word. He says, that's the kind of leader we need, referring to Hitler. Do you honestly, after hearing the context, think that he was taken out of context? Are we going to continue to allow these fascists in the Republican Party say fascist things, praise Hitler, call for the deaths of LGBTQ plus people as self-proclaimed Christian fascists did, outside of a pride event in texas and then just let them explain it away with the oops tee hee i was taken out of context wink wink how long before we wake up and acknowledge that these aren't simple mistakes these are intentional things that they're saying during that interview he had ample opportunity to correct himself the interviewer could have intervened and said wait are you saying we need a leader like hitler in the united states do you want to clarify he had an opportunity to explain and he did. But it's not what he wants you to believe now. Because it might not be politically expedient to just explicitly say that you want a Hitler figure in the United States. This is who the GOP leadership, Elise Stefanik, has endorsed. And she's refusing to withdraw her support for a pro-Hitler candidate. And I don't think that that's uncharitable. We heard the audio. You have the context now. You heard it for yourself. It's much worse than the articles make it appear. They just say that he claims Hitler is the kind of leader we need, but they don't explain how he in depth describes why we need that kind of a leader who's inspirational, who's a doer. 
and how we don't need these rhinos. We need real conservatives like Hitler. It's time to wake up. If you believe that the Republican Party today is simply about tax cuts for small businesses, you have been horribly mistaken. They're not just social conservatives anymore. They're no longer just proto-fascists. We are seeing them evolve into outright violent fascists. And not every single elected Republican is at that stage yet. But the trajectory is very clear. Elements of the base have become increasingly violent. 40% of Republicans almost believe that violence may be necessary because they think that the election is stolen. And if you can't carry out your political agenda through democratic means, then you do it using violence, terrorism. There's been terrorist threats on LGBTQ spaces in Texas. They've weaponized hate very successfully. They're getting normies to believe that LGBTQ plus people are a danger. This is the modern Republican Party. They are fascist, and it's time that people stop pretending as if that's uncharitable. They are absolutely a fascist organization, and if people in America don't wake up and take them as the threat that they are, then it may be too late for this country, literally. Democracy may not survive this era, this level of extremism with the Republican Party. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.